I sat with the Catholic girls during the spelling bees at Old St. Stephen's Grammar School. Poor little me, the damaged African boy who knew nothing about pussy. What the Latin boys call chocha. Was it puppy love when Kathy Florio kissed me, sweat burning around her neck? It was the gang girls I was after, Sandra, Monica, and Angela Savastano. They reminded me of the chicks in Faster Pussycat, Kill, Kill. I was watching cable pornography then, Al Goldstein, that Santa Claus Jew. He knew what was up or in and out. Screw, he called it. Yeah, that was it. I was watching people screwing, sucking, touching. It was titillating, to say the least. Soon after, my parents sent me to high school, an all-boys parochial school. We wore blazers and ties. I was nicknamed GQ for throwing a scarf around my neck. <laughs> the only girls I saw were the cheerleaders, jumping and screaming out my name. But sex never came until I started college, an art school where I painted nude figures. Plain white girls with little bodies on white metal paper I drew with pencil, thinking, imagining until I laid eyes on an Italian Mama Leone. Oh, the fat of the land. <laughs> she stood tall, cute and all. The lard of skin rolled off her body, but we were enjoying it. This is what I imagined sex to be. This is what I saw on TV, that ghosting jiggy. Her body bouncing on top of me, all that flesh, round bottom, booty, bodacious. So I had conquered a villa, set up for the makings of a man, the tortured artist. Profound as a heroin punk, Kathy Acker. My beloved Kathy, I went to see a reading of. It was there I met Sharon, an Israeli diva with breasts, bulbous, oh how they popped. Back at her Christopher Street bedroom that spring season, we listened to Elvis Costello. We kissed and fondled. Each time she told me to wait, wait for a better time. So on a birthday, we attempted to go, but it was a no-show. Failed attempt at lovemaking. I had learned some women want you, and when they did, they let you know about it. Others gave you sex for free, and when they did, you better pounce or you'll regret it. So when I met Christine, the older woman, she fucked my mind free. Gave me all I could ever want. She was married, but when her husband was away, I would slip in, become king for a day. She, we took our trouble to San Francisco, where in the California hotel, we were legendary lovers. But it was youth I was after. Having been to the mountaintop, I wanted to swim in the ocean. They came in licorice, candy cane, coffee-coated lollipops, young girls from Eunice High School. Inside the cafes, we sat with all the men. They sat with all the men, talked about Titian and Van Gogh, posed for pictures. I found my very own Britney Spears, who sang like Liza Minnelli. She aspired to be a star. What was occurring to me, I was, it wasn't sex I was after. Love was a discourse between two intelligent lives. I found one muse among many. I directed, photographed, and painted, but love ain't that simple. Even Roman Polanski and Woody Allen were known for shagging the very actresses they put on stage. The Catholic boy in me thought he had sinned. I went seven years cold turkey, picking flowers for women. But it was a time of the internet, centuries end. The chat room of the world had just begun. In an art gallery, I connected with a woman across the pond. She wants to be my virtual muse. For 10 years, we have never laid eyes on each other. The phone calls and emails. Now I find myself on Facebook, where I reach out to other virtual girls, wanting, not touching. It was one Polish girl I fell for. But was it love? 
telling me she dreamt of me, touching ourselves separately. In lonely rooms, sending vibes across the world, who were we? Was it the love had died? When my friends were getting married and having children, my brother had found a girl on match.com and moved to the East Village where the odd girls run like wolves, found a Brooklyn girl from MoMA. Our one night stand became a love affair, a typical normal, get out of the bathroom, I gotta pee affair. <laughs> she brought me to Brooklyn from Williamsburg to Bushwick to Greenpoint. I found me a home. We went off to see her mother in New Hampshire, but we fought. We fought like artists do. So I took my troubles back to my family, where it all began. I made amends with my brother. I watched as my old other brother became a father. I was getting on with life. It wasn't sex I was after. I found God. It was about self-love. Love of mother, father, brother waiting to click like on Facebook. <laughs>